Hey there, welcome back. Uh, this is Dustin with Handheld Legend. I said I was going to do another video, and what I was going to do is uh, this time just do a, a refurb. So this is uh, kind of a dingy shell, as you can see here. Um, this is I went ahead and just like already peeled the shell off to try and speed things up a little bit. Um, got the lens out, but you can see, I mean, this is just filthy. So what we're going to do with this today is I'm going to show you at least the process that I go through in uh, cleaning these up. So you can see I've got this whole thing stripped down. Look at even just even the membranes. This is like underneath a button. Um, I don't know. Maybe somebody like poured soda on this thing. I'm not sure. Anyways, but we've got it stripped down already. I've got all the parts put aside. And basically all that needs to be done now is that I'm going to run this through. I've got an ultrasonic cleaner that's big enough in order to put a whole shell into it and all the parts. And that's going to loosen up everything. And then I'm going to use a manual clean, some manual cleaning uh, to get rid of like all the particles that, um, you know, didn't get rid of in the um, in the ultrasonic cleaner. So with that said, uh, let's take a moment and go over to the ultrasonic cleaner and we'll get this thing all cleaned up. Wow, is this thing dirty even on the inside? That's crazy. Uh, so this is like the ultrasonic cleaner I used. Um, honestly, everybody knows I'm a big fan of the Retro Future Elliot over there on the YouTube channel. He was using an ultrasonic cleaner quite a bit ago, and I was just like, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed one. I find that it actually, I wouldn't say that it does all the cleaning for you, but I would say it certainly gets rid of the bulk of things and then softens up the rest um, so that it can be easily scrubbed away. What I use is Dawn. Um, Dawn dish soap I find gets rid of the grease like the most. And I also use the antibacterial one just because I'm sure that with all the hands that have been touching these things um, over time, things have built up. Uh, I've got my container of like parts here. So I'm just going to pop this in. I usually put in all the pieces parts first. Then I'll just lay the shells down on top of it. Now this gets a little noisy. I'll go ahead and get it started. But this is, this one, um, like I said, it fits a shell. And it, this one's even like got a temperature control to it. So I'll just turn the temperature on and I run it. Um, it, does, it does seconds, 480 seconds, but I think is just over seven and a half minutes. Um, and I'll get that started. It will come back in a little bit after this is done. Okay, and we're back. So you can see oh, it's dropped a little bit. It's down to like 58 Celsius. This gets it nice and warm. So let's here, we'll take this off. You can see, so like that water was pretty clean before. Uh, not so clean anymore. And we'll, let's just take a look. It gets pretty toasty in here. See, this is actually, it's not too bad anymore. It's like, you know, the inside plate's like nice and shiny. And let me make sure I get that into the camera there. And I'm just going to take out these parts here. That's still pretty filthy in there, so it's like, you know, inside the button. I usually find that's the case anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab all these parts. So I just got everything pulled out here, and we'll see how it did. Uh, we've got like even the labels, everything here is like still uh, intact. Usually, I would say to try and use a hairdryer to take these off. To tell you the truth, though, I find that's actually more problematic than anything. So I'm just very careful with them, and I find that's okay. But then we've also got this other piece here, and see, it's nice. And the inside, it's like nice and clean. Look at the speaker grill; that's also nice and clean. Now you're going to notice this is this is a glacier shell, so it's going to have naturally a bit of discoloration. You can kind of see what the color is here versus like what it was on the inside. There's really not much we can do about that. Um, I mean, we could retro bright this, I guess, but I, that's not something I usually do. This is, I don't know, it's got a nice natural look to it. So I usually don't mess with it too much. Anyways, so here, let's get this dried off. I usually don't do anything special. What I do is I have a container and I just line it with some paper towel and I let this like sit. You know, there's so many crevices in these. It's not like, it's not like you're going to be able to like really dry these off and have it be effective. So I let them air dry. Let's go do that. And we're back. Just wanted to show you what the results ended up looking like. 
So you've already known how to put this back together at this point. So I went ahead and just like um, pop this all back together so I could show you. If you remember here, this was kind of like a dingier color. Um, these buttons were even a little messy right along here, you know, in the shoulder buttons it was really grimy. Um, and now look at this. This is like all back, you know, quite nice here again. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's nothing quite so satisfying to me as like a good refurbished job. I really like these kind of things and especially the way this one turned out, uh, turned out really well. Had even, you know, like used um, some isopropyl alcohol on a toothbrush and cleaned up the different ports on this too. So that turned out really well. Uh, put a glass lens on this. So that, that I think they turned out really well as also. So anyways, um, I hope that you've liked seeing a bit of the process that I go through when I do a refurbished job. I have to say, I think if you're going to be doing a lot of refurbishes, um, you, you really, the ultrasonic cleaner really makes life a lot easier rather than a lot more manual scrubbing that I would have had to have done um, in order to get this cleaned up. Anyhow, see ya.